Welcome back. Today I'm doing a review of my experience with the Alden Restoration Service. I'll do an overview of how I sent these in for recrafting and an unboxing of the shoes that I got back. And then I'll do a comparison of uh, before and after pictures uh, to see how it came out. First, some background on the shoes. This is how they looked when they were new. I purchased them in December 2012. Uh, these are the uh, Alden long wing bluchers in dark brown calfskin. Uh, they're co-branded with uh, J. Crew. Uh, J. Crew used to sell these uh, online. Uh, they had sales infrequently that would include Alden. So uh, with the 30% off, I think I paid around $350. But now the prices have creeped up and an equivalent shoe now would be around $600. It's uh, made in the USA by Alden, which is one of the last uh, remaining American uh, shoemakers. It's my favorite shoe brand. I have several other models in different uh, colors, but uh, this is the first one that I've sent in for restoration. This is how they looked after eight and a half years of use. I wore them regularly but I usually wore them in rotation with um, another shoe, mostly the black calfskin perforated cap toe. I try not to wear any of my shoes two days in a row and give, so I can give them a rest in between. That helps uh, prolong the life of the shoe. Uh, for maintenance, I used uh, conditioner, uh, cream polish, and paste wax uh, once in a while. But most importantly, I always store them with uh, cedar shoe trees. This uh, removes uh, the moisture from the shoe and helps keep the shape of the leather. Using the cedar shoe trees, I think, is the most important single thing um, you can do to help maintain your shoes. The leather is still in great condition. Uh, there's very limited creasing and no major scuffs. Uh, any minor scuffs are easily uh, covered over with polish or wax, uh, but the color is somewhat uneven uh, due to a little different colors that I used uh, on the polishes. The construction of this shoe is very high quality. The leather is from Horween and it has a Goodyear welt and a very thick uh, leather outsole. Inside it's also lined with leather and internally there's a cork uh, footbed and a steel shank. The main issue I had was that the bottommost layer of leather on the heel block was separating. Probably the adhesive had gone dry over the years. I could have tried to just glue it back on, but there were a few other issues that I thought would be better taken care of by a full restoration. The back of the heel was wearing unevenly so that the outside part of the heel was wearing more than the inside part. This affected mostly the rubber wedge part of the heel um, and didn't uh, affect the uh, leather stacked heel block, but it was getting uh, a little bit close to that. Here's the wear on the outsole. It didn't feel that bad uh, when um, using the shoe and it didn't have any holes in it. But looking back, I think there was significant uh, wear uh, on the outsole when I compare it to uh, the new outsole that they provided with the recrafting. Here's what came in the box with the recrafted shoes. The uh, shoes are in the uh, classic green Alden box and they also included a pair of new uh, cedar shoe trees in size small. Uh, these are very high quality. It has a really nice cedar smell to it. Uh, it's a split toe and spring loaded and it uh, fits the uh, shoes uh, very well. I wasn't sure if they would include a new box with it but I'm glad they did. This is the classic green uh, Alden box uh, and it has the model number on the outside which matches the shoe and the size of the shoe. Unboxing is just like unboxing a new pair of shoes. 
Included inside is a pair of soft uh, cloth uh, shoe bags. Pulling back the tissue paper, the shoes are packed in plastic bags. And then once I remove the shoes from the plastic bags, I really notice the strong uh, smell of genuine leather. And the leather on the shoe looks absolutely great. It's very smooth, a dark, rich brown color. And I think they evened it out uh, with some uh, polishing and uh, paste wax. There seems to be even less creasing than there was before. I can still see some fine creasing and some uh, creasing on the tongue. But the sole is brand new. It's a very heavy, um, looks thicker than my old one, but I think that was just because the old one was worn down. The uh, outsole has a logo that says Alden Restoration. There's also a new heel pad with the Alden Restoration logo. So all of the J. Crew uh, branding has been removed uh, from this shoe. And taking out the other shoe, it looks uh, just as great as the other one. Uh, I don't see any defects on the leather or the um, outsole or anything internally. Um, inside, I think uh, it looks like just the heel pad was replaced, but I don't think uh, they replaced anything uh, further on the uh, internal leather lining. Uh, going over the process of how I ordered uh, the restoration service, it starts at the uh, website. Uh, you give them the in your information um, and address, and they'll mail you a kit with a bag and a mailing label. So I just put my shoes in the bag and put that in a box and dropped it off at FedEx. About a week later, I got a postcard saying they received my shoes and they were starting work on it. Uh, I'll quote from the brochure about what kind of work they do. Um, it says, uh, Alden will restore your shoes, uh, replacing the laces, outsoles, heels, cork bottom filler, and welting using original lasts and materials. We will then re refinish them as we do when new by hand using fine paste wax, returning them with Alden cedar shoe trees and cloth bags. I think they quoted uh, around uh, four to eight weeks, but I got my shoes back in only four weeks. Uh, I think it's a great value. Uh, I would have uh, had to pay $600 to replace these shoes, but with the recrafting service, uh, that was $189, and that also included uh, the free uh, shoe trees and laces. So with this restoration, I think I can get another good eight years at least out of these shoes. So now I'll just end the video with some before and after shots, and thanks for watching.